Hey guys, welcome back to Shalu's Artistry. In today's video, we're going to see the harvest from December month till date. We have sowed brinjal and cabbage seeds in fertile soil. Centilla is ready to be reaped and pomegranate plant has started flowering. Brinjal and cabbage saplings are ready to be moved to different pots. These are cabbage saplings. Mom is planting them in loose and fertile soil. This mud is a mixture of red soil, clay soil, cow dung manure, goat manure and ash. Simply sprinkle water regularly and dry it in sun to get loose and fertile soil. So this is a gentle potting mix that we use for all the vegetable plants here. This plant is corn. Banana plants have grown taller and it has lot of dried leaves on it. We should remove all these dried leaves so that new leaves starts coming up. You can see lot of baby pups coming up. With new baby plants coming and a very small pot for survival, these banana plants need proper fertilizer. But recently, I haven't given a proper care except for watering. When you're planning for a vegetable garden, always remember to keep flowers in between because this will attract pollinators such as bees and butterflies. And pollination is a must factor for any vegetable garden. In the next week, all these saplings have started growing. This is cabbage. This is cow peas. This one is brinjal. This is beans. Again brinjal. These are beans again. This is cow beans. Uh, we have brinjal of three different varieties. These are country tomatoes. We also have aloe vera and we can see three pups coming up. In the next weeks, there are visible changes in the plants. Most of the plants have grown well. Their leaves are bigger and healthier. So see this cabbage, it is so healthy to look at. It's so green and in the center it has started to close. Corn has also started growing taller. Bridges saplings have grown well too. And the remaining saplings are all cabbage. Again in the next week we can see visible changes. The center has started closing up in most of the plants. Cabbage especially looks very healthy. All the plants that we have kept here have started growing well. Corn has grown tall now. We have a chili plant and there are a lot of chilies in that. These are beans. There are only few beans in this plant. And these are again cabbages. These cabbages give a green vibe to our garden and it looks so beautiful. These are cow peas. In the next weeks, most of our cabbages were infected with pests. Even the smallest of the plants were infected. Very few cabbages were healthy and most of the plants have started flowering and fruiting. There are a lot of tomatoes in tomato plant. Brinjal especially is ready for the harvest. There are a lot of baby pups in aloe vera. Our corn plant has a corn now, though the plant is very fragile, it still has managed to survive. It's time for the actual harvest. These are white brinjal. Bittergard plant has a healthy bittergard now. Whatever the condition may be, we are going to look into the cabbage to know how it looks from inside. Mom was so determined not to use any pesticide for the cabbage plants, but that is how all the infections happened. I guess we used neem oil once, so which is definitely not sufficient for cabbages. We have to regularly use pesticides for cabbages and cauliflowers. Mom was finally happy to see that it was uninfected and healthy from inside. But if you are planning to grow cabbages or cauliflowers, please use pesticides. This is a brinjal variety of violet color. We have sprinkled some turmeric to get rid of ants and if you also have the same problem, you can either use uh, ant repellent or uh, turmeric powder instead. In the next weeks, we got a basket full of brinjal with few tomatoes. Again in the next weeks, mom was busy with brinjal harvest. 
Brinjal is one such plant that keeps growing and giving for a very long time. Along with the main plants like tomatoes and brinjal, we can also plant add-on plants like mint, coriander and spring onions, which won't need much care. We have got a bunch of mint now. Another problem is mealy bugs. Whenever you see mealy bugs, instantly cut and remove it as it could destroy your entire garden within no time. Cutting the small portion of your plant is going to save the entire garden. Just think about the mealy bugs and how it is going to spread rapidly and just cut and remove it. This is a brinjal variety that is green in color. So here we have three different varieties of eggplant in violet, green and white colors. Let's get the green chilies now. I'm going to pluck all the green chilies and red chilies as well. These are spring onions and we also have mint inside. Again, we have a lot of mint in the next pot as well. This chilli plant is an add-on plant that we have kept under the bananas. This is an easy way to grow extra plants without any effort. This is the only cauliflower we had and after a very long time it has started to grow flower inside. Bitter gourd has climbed well and it has healthy bitter gourds and there are a lot of flowers too. There's a rich gourd plant growing well. In the next weeks, this cauliflower is ready to be harvested. It has grown well and tomatoes are ready to be reaped. Aloe vera is filled with pups. Talking about the fertilizers, we use all the kitchen waste in our garden. We chop it finely and add it around the roots. Twice in a year, we also use cow dung. We dry it and store it for future use. Simply mix it with water and use it. Kitchen waste can also be dried before using to avoid bad odor. Eggshells and onion peels can be another boosting fertilizer for our plants. Plants from our front yard has also started fruiting and giving veggies. Drumstick is ready to be harvested. We have about 10 to 15 drumsticks and a lot of flowers too. Let's pluck it using a fruit plucker. Guavas have started fruiting again. My previous video on guava was taken during the August month harvest. This is February to March month harvest and most of the leaves are still dry after the winter. It's just now that new leaves have started coming up. We've got a small vegetable full of guavas now. With summer's arrival, our neem tree is full of leaves and flowers. At the same time, we have to clean the sheets, collect all the dried leaves from the winter and save it for summer harvest. These leaves can be very helpful in mulching and mulching is a must process in summer. If you like this information, give a thumbs up to my video and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed Shalu's Artistry, please do subscribe my channel for more such videos.